Hey everyone, Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guy here. I have here with me today a Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy S5 that I've been playing with. This one I actually have working on T-Mobile right now at the moment, as we can see there from the info up in the status bar. And now what I've been trying to do is to get my wireless hotspot working on the phone, since T-Mobile provides me that service along with my plan. So if I go into the settings here and try to turn on the hotspot, I get an error message that says mobile number is not found and it will not turn on no matter what I do. Unfortunately, that's due to Verizon software blocks. They put blocks on their phones so that you can only do hotspot with Verizon service. If you're using another carrier, unfortunately, they completely block you out and do not let you have access to that. I don't know why, that's kind of just how they are. My business, however, offers a service whereby I can get that enabled for you if you're using another carrier to bypass Verizon software checks. And this would also apply to you if you are someone who has a data plan on Verizon and is using the Verizon phone, but you don't have hotspot included in your plan. Now that's going to be common if you are still back on one of their unlimited data plans, if you haven't given that up yet, or actually first when they went back to capped or tiered data, they originally did not include hotspot in those plans. That was still an extra surcharge at that point. So you might fall under that category also. I'd be able to help you out in either one of those scenarios. So in this case, with this phone, this is one that I have customized and modded to be able to do the hotspot bypassing Verizon's checks. I'm just applying the final touches here, and then we'll be able to reboot it and see that the hotspot does work. And I might just take another minute here or so, so you can feel free to skip ahead to the end of the video if you like. Wait for the service to kick in here. All right, 
there we go. Signal is finally back up and running. So there we've got T-Mobile again. And this time, if we pop into the settings, and turn the hotspot on, I don't see that checking subscription status message before, and I also don't see the error. It just fires up and turns on, just like that. So hotspot is now running. If I want to go ahead and pull up one of my other devices here, I should be able to see that hotspot name in the list of devices. And there we go. So we have the Verizon SM G900V right there, as it is on this phone. So this one is now configured for hotspot and is usable on any carrier or even usable on Verizon if you're not paying them for it. If you guys have a Verizon Wireless Samsung Galaxy S5 and want to get the hotspot enabled on it, go ahead and contact me. Details will be in the video description. Y para todos los hispanos, acuérdense que también hablo español, así que no duden en contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.